Okay, th this video, I'm going to be talking about my Epson Artisan um, 1430. I got a CI, CIC system, um, continuous ink system. So the problem was that um, the clips that they give you here, this one is supposed to go on top right here. As you can see, the, oh, I don't wanna do that. The ink lines do, does not even reach them. So, they don't even touch, they're not even close. So, that's kind of retarded. So I had it here, and I did. I, I had the line hitting up here. I was stretching this hose, the ink system hose this way, um, but it was still not working as proper. Um, and it comes with two of these clips, one clip, and two clips. And these clips, one's supposed to be here, and the other one's supposed to be there. And then this clip's supposed to be here. So what I end up doing is just grabbing this, um, let me see. I, I, I grab some of this, I'm not too sure what it's called, but as you can see the name of it. From Scotch, um, it's double-sided, it's, it's made by M3. Or 3M, it's made by 3M. So what I end up doing is grabbing one of the clips and using this, putting it down right here, grabbing rubber band, grabbing rubber band and wrapping it into the clip. So when I have the lid down, the the lid will push pressure onto the onto this but this this holds up to 10 pounds so that's more than enough as you can see right there it holds up to 10 pounds it's pretty sturdy um the rubber band is pretty loose as you can see um it's just to hold the the ink system hoses right here the, the ink line so i don't have nothing here and I have this one um, holding down the holes this way. And it works pretty good. I was using it right now. The the holes right here um, it has a little tension. Over right here is a little loose. With this clip, um, we'll stop the tension right here. So. It goes all the way. This goes all the way to the right. We're gonna see right now. As you see, if you don't have the right tension, um, my problem was that I, I wasn't having the right tension and this hose was folding, like twisting on me. So what I ended up doing is grabbing the rubber band, as you can see. I had it in there with one loop. So I ended up looping one side of the rubber band like two times into here, as you can see. I looped it so I can get the right tension and the right slack from here so it won't be too tight or too too loose where this keeps on twisting on me and right now it's just the right slap as you can see so let me see if i can get some good lighting
So right now I'm just showing you what I did. I just ran two rubber bands. One rubber band right here, I wrapped it around. And then I got the other rubber band and wrapped it into that rubber band to make it um, the link. So this is one whole rubber band wrapped around this, as you can see. I wrapped it around this. And then I wrapped this rubber band into the two hoops of this rubber band and wrapped it all around here. And wrap this rubber band twice onto here. Um, I think in this case, I I don't have to use this. I can I can just wrap this rubber band onto this. This holds on pretty good. So I, all, all I really needed is just this, and just wrap the rubber band onto this, and then close the lid, because this is a little too high, as you can see. But it's fine with me because I have this this one right here and this one so it it shows that it's a little high but that's fine um, I'm gonna run a test right now and I'm gonna show you how it works in motion so I'll make the last 30 seconds of this video of this machine moving um, back and forth doing an ink test. Oh, pretty good. So that's how my little gadget works. So if you had that problem with this, that's how you fix it.